my dad asked me if I wanted to be a ride leader and do a ride. And I said, yeah, I want to do it. Seven-year-old Sander and his dad Skip live car-free for their health and for the environment. They go everywhere on their bikes and have lots of adventures together. Today, they're heading to the bus stop at Lads Edition. They're on a multimodal trip to scope out the route for an upcoming group bike ride. Sander will be leading in the Selwood neighborhood. How do you plan the route for a group bike ride? We basically will go to our starting place of the route, seeing what Google Maps suggested us, and then we scoped out the route. Did you choose the creek as an end spot because you thought kids will be having so much fun playing in it? Yeah, and then the creek is like cooling off people because it might be a very hot day. It's called the Playground to Creek Ride. It is 1.4 miles. Please do not pass the leader, which is me. It is mostly flat. It is a slow paced ride. None will be left behind. We're going to be going over some train tracks. The train tracks we're going over is like this, like flat like that, and then the road's going to angle over them. So try to go straight. But because with you go diagonal like that, you could get caught in them and fall over. So you don't want that to happen. I noticed the route you eventually took was slightly different from Google Maps' suggestion. What was the reason for that? Because it was more flat. Well, we stayed on the Spring Court Trail longer and then and it was more flat. Both the Pedal Palooza group ride, led by a first-time kid ride leader, and this beautiful creek nestled in a quiet neighborhood, show the unique magic that is Portland, Oregon.